So in this video, we'll be starting a new Android Studio project and taking a look at all the different facets of the IDE and see what see how everything works. So to start a new project, just click the Start a New Android Studio Project button and wait for everything to initialize. So you don't really have to do anything with company domain unless you do have one that you want to put in. Uh, for now, just use the example.com. Uh, this first application is just going to be titled test application. That's what we're going to be working in as you guys learn to program and just about Android in general. You don't really need to worry about C++ support or Kotlin even though you can use those languages to make Android apps because for the purposes of this course we're going to be using Java. Uh, here, you can choose to target different Android operating systems. If you go up to the very newest one, uh, Android 8 Oreo, you're not going to be able to target that many devices because not all devices have updated to that. So you're going to want to go back to where you can target somewhere in the 90 to 100 percent range. So I'm going to go with one before that, ice cream sandwich. That'll reach 100 percent of devices. And for this purpose, just pick an empty activity. So when that finally builds, you should get something that looks like this. It'll have two files opened up for you already. The main activity.java, which is where you write the majority of your Java code and activity main.xml. That's still waiting to finish, but I'm going to take you through what each of these files do. So if you go into your app folder over here, you'll see manifest, java, and res. In manifest, you have your android manifest.xml, which just has some basic application info, like what kind of theme you want to have, the app name. If you go into Java in the first one, that's how, this is going to have all your Java code. We'll get into what Java is and how to use it later, but just know that this is where you'll be writing all your code. Over here is where you have all the stuff that's going to make up your application's user interface. Images, layouts, etc., all that good stuff. So under layouts is where you have your XML folders. Still building, but essentially, we're going to use XML to position different UI items on the screen and make everything that the user sees. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.